Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to share with you my GPS accuracy test results for the Huawei GT3 Pro. I have a very unorthodox way of measuring GPS accuracy, but my hope is that it provides some context if the device is fit for purpose to you. If you are new to my videos, I like to keep it short, easy to understand, and more importantly to the point, so that you can get the answers you require. With that said let's take a look at the final test results for the device. And, here it is. Don't worry I will explain how I rate and arrive to these final conclusions. I do three different tests and that's represented in the table that you see. The device had no issues when tracking at easy and very hard level, but it didn't do too well in the hard level test. Like I say, I will explain how I arrive to these conclusions for your understanding. In the end the device gains a strong rating of 10 out of 15. It's a reasonable score, considering the price you have to pay for the device. But, in my opinion I expected the device to better. Anyway, let's take a look at the key discussion points of the video. And, this is basically it really. As you can see there is a lot of content to get through in this video. If you are new to the channel, what I basically do is, I do a brief explanation on points 1 and 2, but it would give some context on how I rate a device, so please do view those. The bulk of the discussions is really on points 3, 4, 5, and 6. I will include the timestamps in the description for those that just want to skip to the parts that matter to you. With that said let's move on to the first discussion point. The Huawei GT3 Pro can connect to multiple GPS satellite systems. They say that, the higher the number of satellites the device can connect to, the greater the accuracy. However, in my test results, it's proven to be unreliable at times, but I explain more when we get to the test results. The device does not have assisted support, which is a smart feature where the device can use other resources like cell phone towers or local data services to pinpoint your location. But, the device does have dual band frequency. All this is, is the device can connect to different frequencies to access data much faster, and has the ability to block out any Wi-Fi, Bluetooth connectivity, which is very handy. Lastly, because of my location in New Zealand, I don't have the ability to connect to Beidou or QZSS satellite systems. So technically speaking, the test results you are about to see are based on the global satellite systems. Anyway, let's move on to the next discussion point. Actually this is a two-part discussion point on how I test and rate a device. So let me explain my testing system first. It's very straightforward, and I do is that I complete the GPS activity. Then I review the tracking activity, then I go to the areas where the tracking is aligned. Then I pace out the distance, and then place the error into one of these categories. Once I have tallied up the errors I can now give the test a rating. And, this right here is the rating table that I use. All of my tallied up results fit within the rating system. The higher number of errors will impact the device's final rating. Like I said at the start, that my system is a little unorthodox, but do take it with a grain of salt. Please note that this testing or rating system is something that I created myself. Anyway, let's now take a look at the easy level test results. In the easy level, I like to keep things, well simple. And in this test, I have chosen a path that won't challenge the device at all. On the left there is a glimpse of what the easy level test looks like at ground level. As you can see, the terrain is quite flat, and there is very little overhead obstructions like awnings, or tall buildings. I do come across areas where the terrain where it's not flat, but that's okay because the slope is gradual, and not a char elevation over a short distance. Anyway, let's now take a look at the final results for easy level. Now, I have used third-party Komoot with all my GPS accuracy tests. I prefer to use a satellite image in these videos. As you can see, the overlap between both lines is identical. 
The black line is the Huawei GT3 Pro and the red dotted line is the path I drew on the map as a comparison. In the end, there were zero minor or major misalignments in this test and the device deserves its 5-star rating for the easy level test. In conclusion, I expected nothing less. And to me that's a fair expectation. The overlap in the results showed no deviation when comparing the device's GPS tracking activity against the path I planned in this test. If you take a look at the video, it's no different to any other neighborhood block around the world. If you plan your path where there is flat terrain, no overhead obstructions, you too can get the same results as mine. Even if there is a slight gradual elevation, the device can handle the change in elevation, as long as it's not a sharper or steep elevation over a short distance which I will explain more about in the very hard level test. Anyway let's move on to the next discussion point. In the hard level test, I have chosen a path where I paw through a small township. The main challenges in the test is really the buildings and potential interference with other devices currently being used. The terrain does not pose any challenge as it's very flat. On the left is a video of the hard level test, you will eventually see how close I am to the buildings. This can cause a multi-pathing issue where the satellites need more time connecting to your device. In the end, the Huawei GT3 Pro did not do well in this test, and let's now have a look at the final results. The device did really well outside the township. Which is a plus I guess, considering the final result in this test. The blue cloud that you see is where the township is, and that's where the most of the errors occurred in this test. I did not count any minor misalignments, but did find one major error so therefore the device automatically gains a 1 star rating for this level. Let's take a closer look at the major error. The black line is the Huawei GT3 Pro's GPS activity and the red dotted line is the plan path that I have taken. As you can see in some parts that both lines don't quite overlap. After going back and measuring the error, some are just within the zero misalignment. But there is one part there where the alignment is quite big. Every device that I test always seem to fail at this part. With the hard level test, I always do two tests. The first test is when the town is busy, and the other when not so busy. Just to compare results. Every time that error always occurs. There is a radio station there where the error skewed, so I do wonder if that was not there I would get a better result. In conclusion, the Huawei GT3 Pro deserves its hard level test rating of 1 out of 5 stars. There were some positive things about the test, where the device picked up you location quickly when it was lost. Another positive, there were some parts of the test, especially in the township, that the device maintained a certain level of accuracy. One other thing I should mention too is that the buildings that I was walking past are no tall buildings. They are at least two stories high max. Anyway, if you happen to walk or run on a path where there are tall buildings, just be aware that the GPS accuracy may be affected. I used the word maybe, because your results may in fact be better or far worse than mine. Anyway, hope that helps and let's move on to the next discussion point. The very hard test is my favorite test to do. In this test I have chosen a path that's at a nearest nature walk here in New Zealand. The challenges in this test is the dense vegetation above, however from my own testing experience, that's quite small. But the major challenge would be the change in elevation. There are some very steep parts in this hiking trail within a short distance. As you can see on the left there, is the very hard level test at ground level. The path does come across some mountain faces that may challenge the device as well, because they can cause the same type of errors that tall buildings can do. Anyway, let's take a look at the final results. As I review the results, the Huawei GT3 Pro performed really well. The tracking outside the blue cloud tracked accurately, however the area inside the blue cloud is where the only error occurred. There were no major errors, but just one single minor misalignment, so the Huawei GT3 Pro deserves its rating of 4 out of 5 stars at very hard level. Anyway, let's take a look at the error in detail. 
Now, the black line is the Huawei GT3 Pro's GPS activity, and the red dotted line where the arrows pointing to is where the minor misalignment occurred. Every watch I test for GPS accuracy always has trouble tracking this part accurately. Where the error occurs, the elevation is very steep over a short distance, then the elevation flattens out a little which allows the satellites to locate your position easily. Now this error occurred due to a multi-pathing issue. On the left is where the multi-pathing error occurred. As you can see there is a sharp rise and a flattening out phase on the hiking trail. Multi-pathing is probably something that can't be avoided when you are hiking, so when you find this error when you take a look at the tracking, that is the reason why. All it is, is that the satellites need more time to locate your watch. Please note that the ranking system you see are devices that I have physically tested using my own testing system. But, it does give some context on what the market looks like in comparison. As you can see, a lot of the devices that I have tested seem to have the same testing results as the Huawei GT3 Pro, and there are 8 devices with the same rating. A special mention must also go to two devices, which is the Xiaomi S1 Active and the Huawei Watch Fit 2. Both devices are very affordable and costs less than half the price of the Huawei GT3 Pro. Thank you so much for watching. You can go to my website for more information about the Huawei GT3 Pro. Anyway, please, like, share and subscribe to the channel. It is greatly appreciated.